All right, deep update. It's been a long ass time, but uh, got an update for you here. So lots of lot has changed. So you can see, I take my roof rack off. Get the fiberglass CB antenna. Get the spring. Yeah, all right. And uh, got my grenade sticker there. Also got that two inch lift I was talking about. You can see the auto leaf right there. It's a new shocks, same kind of shocks, just longer. Got this adjustable two inch, inch and a half or two inch shackle. Got uh, wheel spacers, inch and a half wheel spacers. I don't know if you can even see them, but uh, you can't really. Maybe you can see them. What? Just barely see them down there. Anyway, I got wheel spacers. Got a winch. Nice winch on there. It's a Ramsey 8,000 pound winch. That'll wire it up. Use it a couple times. As you can see, the wheel spacers set it out quite a bit. Really improves the stance, makes it look a whole lot better. Oh, there you can see the wheel spacers. See the red things? So wheel spacers in there. Also got the uh, Rusty's adjustable track bar. So that keeps me in the middle, help my flex out a little bit. Uh, custom made some sway bar links, some cotter pins, and some uh, some tubing there. Those are pretty cool. All the stuff you can check out on the Cherokee forum. Oops, got my whole build on there. You can check all that stuff out if you want to stay posted on it. The only thing left I need is so far is suspension. Or not in suspension, it's new brake lines. These brake lines are too short. But uh, I also got these control arms. I don't know if you guys have seen those. I mean, you have because I put those on with my lift. But basically, uh, I had to get longer control arms, so I built myself some out of some uh, tubing and stock bushings that's also on Cherokee Farm you want to check that out see how I made those I'm trying to spam you guys with Cherokee Farm but I'm just trying to save it so you guys can uh, you, know, you gotta watch a 10 minute video there's a spacer on the front oh well, you can see it but it's a spacer on the front like I talked about before longer shocks I guess there is a lot new in the interior. Got a new carpet. Kind of dirty in the front right now, but it's junkyard carpet I pulled out. Seen the seats from last time. I got the matching rear bench out of the 99. I also got the 89 plus headliner. Speakers in the back and the nice dome lights and everything. So now I got a dome light back there, which is really nice because uh, you just can't see anything back there in the dark. See, so yeah, I got the new fancy headliner, the mirrors and crap. So it's pretty nice. I think that's about it, but uh, yeah, not a whole lot. Actually, there is quite a bit new, but. Work, I've been doing a lot more driving it than I have been working on it lately. So I'm also working on a set of rock sliders. I've actually had them done for quite some time, just waiting to paint them. So we'll check it out here. Rock sliders. I've had them done for a while primer and ready to go I just gotta paint them so they've been sitting back here kind of been on hold with my new project which is a 93 
Kawasaki 750 stand up jet ski. This is my latest project. So, it's all ripped apart right now. Had to patch a couple holes in the fiberglass. It's all sanded and filled now. So, yeah, I'm chipping away on this. Probably gonna have a couple videos of it when I get it all said and done. Here's the guts of it and everything else. 750 Kawasaki 750 motor with the West Coast head on it. Factory pipe, which is over there. The hood and everything, gas tank, all that good stuff. Also rebuilt the pump on it, the bearings were shot. And uh, yeah, the bearings were bad on it, the shaft was broken. So I had to re get a new shaft for it, retop out the impeller. The stat track 14 17 pitch impeller. So it's, from what I hear, it's a decent bottom end impeller. Got the scoop intake grate. Ocean Pro ride plate underneath that. So, yeah, I'm just uh, working away here. There's my trailer that I got for free for my, uh, my grandpa. And I put a new deck on it, put the jet ski rails on it, cleaned it all up. So that's going to be for Jesse. This is my buddy's uh, Kawasaki 650 stand up. So we both got him and he's working on his right now. His is mostly done. He got his before me. He didn't have to do as much work. He just painted his. So. Yeah, pretty nice ski. This runs good. Mine runs good too. Just needed some body work. So yeah. Cranking away on this right now. It doesn't look like much right here, but I'm just about getting ready to sand off the leftover paint on the side so I can gel coat the bottom. And uh, I got a new spray gun over here, so I'm probably gonna do a pretty sick paint job on that. Maybe we'll do like a time lapse or something. Yeah, I got this. It's actually my first time opening it, so. Why do they make so many buckles? Ah. Jeez, maybe I'm not gonna open it. Freaking 12 million buckles on this thing. Spray guns. Probably gonna be putting these to good use. Gonna sh fix the paint on my rocker panel down there on my Jeep. On the other side, it's all messed up. So I'm gonna fix the paint on that. Probably gonna paint my sliders with the with the paint guns. Gonna paint the jet ski with the paint guns. So yeah, lots of cool projects up ahead. If I uh, take video pictures of it. I'm going to post links for the jet ski form I built on there and for Cherokee form so you guys can stay posted on that stuff if you're interested. And uh, yeah, that's about it for that update. So looks like it ended up being a nine minute video anyways, but you got double the, double the fun for the price of one. So there you go. That's what I've been up to. Sorry it's been so long since the last video.